Hello, this is Alpine Comic Books coming with you with another video. Uh, it's been a while. Got a couple new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing and uh, still working on it. So what happened here is I went to about, to another comic store about an hour away, and they just uh, they had bought a collection. This gentleman was in the army, I guess, and he was overseas, and he bought these books, and they're not priced in overseas prices. But I believe he bought them in his local PX, you know, the stores overseas on base. And they're all newsstand. His entire collection was newsstand. So I bought about 240 newsstands. It was incredible. So I'm going to start showing you some of these books. I had a bag and board them. I'm not going to get through them all. And we're going to start out with his X-Factor run. And this is X-Factor 100 newsstand. Um, glad to have this. I have this, but I bought another copy. I noticed some of these specialty covers, like an Amazing Spider-Man, the X-Men, uh, they're starting to go up in value with their newsstand. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I bought this, and uh, nice book to have. It's in mint condition. And these books be cost between a dollar and a dollar fifty-eight, so it wasn't much. This is not a newsstand, but this is X Factor One Hundred Six, and it's got the uh, it's the uh, the cheaper edition for direct market. It's a cheap copy. It's only two dollars instead of I think it's three ninety five, and it's got the red stripe. And I didn't have this, so I picked this up because I have the other one. Now this is X Factor Flashback minus one. This is a newsstand, and the important thing about flashbacks, what I told you before, is this is cover price a dollar ninety nine instead of $1.95 for direct market. And I bought, found a bunch of these flashbacks newsstand. I was very happy. All right, now we're going to start here with uh, X-Factor 112. And this first batch X-Factor is, um, like I said, newsstand, but these are cover price $1.50 instead of $1.95 for the direct market. And he had a bunch of them, and I was real happy. So this is 112, 113, uh, 115. He didn't have 114 or it was sold. Uh, 116, still only a dollar fifty. Uh, 118, 119. Uh, 120 uh, newsstand <clears throat> and I've never seen a newsstand uh, run of the X Factor, X Factor like this maybe one issue two but he had all these issues and they were all newsstand and they are all cover price variants 121 124 uh, 125 uh this is 250. This is very fine. I have this one. This is 250. Uh, the direct market is 299. So this one's actually cheaper. And this is issue 126. And this is the last dollar fifty newsstand issue. Uh, then I bought uh, the second half. Uh, this is X Factor 127. Now, from 127 to 135 newsstand, they're $1.99 now instead of $1.95. Direct market is still $1.95, but the newsstands are up now more than the direct market. So these are all uh, $1.99 covers. That's 127. This is 129. Uh, this is 130 been looking for this. I believe this is the issue where uh, Mystique uh, kills Creighton Crane, the Creighton Crane, the the senator. Uh, great cover. Uh, one thirty one. Uh, one thirty two. Uh, one thirty three. Newsstand. Uh, 134 and 135 this is the last dollar 99 
issue after this. Uh, 136 newsstand and direct market are both $1.99. So that is the last uh, cover price variant for X Factor. Very happy to have that run. Now, I bought some uh, Thor run. It's very good. Uh, this is uh, Thor 468. Uh, it's part of the Blood and Thunder. It crosses over with Adam Warlock and uh, Warlock Chronicles and Silver Surfer. So happy to have that. And here's another part of that for 70. And again, these are all newsstand. Uh, 471 newsstand. It's got a little tick here, but it's a pretty nice book. Uh, 478 newsstand. Uh, this is an upgrade for me. This is 488. Uh, great hella cover. Um, I was glad that was in there. Now, these are really good. I have the direct market. I don't have these in newsstand. And this is the Warren Ellis run, 491. I love this cover. It's got a little tick here, uh, 492. Uh, I really love that cover, 493. And this is a run where I think the uh, Enchantress got really, really popular. Uh, 494. I'm not too happy about this cover. 495. Uh, but it was a newsstand, and that's what I was looking for. Another great cover. 496. Cap on there. Uh, this is probably very fine, but still, it's a uh, 497. Really nice cover here, four ninety eight, and the last Thor newsstand that I got is four ninety nine. With I guess that's uh, Fin Fan Foon maybe. All right, then he had a run. I didn't think I'd ever find. After Thor, uh, they continued on with the run with issue five hundred three, and that's Journey into Mystery, the uh, featuring the Lost Gods. So this is issue five hundred three. And this is the ones I was really excited to have. This is 507. This is Newsstand. Now, from 507 to 513, these are $1.99. The direct market was $195. So these are cover price variants. That's 503, uh, 507, 508. I don't have 509, but I got 510. 511, that was a good, um, that was the main protagonist there. What is his name? I forget his name. Loki and uh, Seth. And there's 512. And 513. Seth versus Odin. Uh, really happy to find these. These are low print run, even in the direct market. And to find a new stand of these. That are cover price variants. I love it. And I also find the Journey into Mystery minus one newsstand. Again, that's a dollar ninety nine cover. One ninety five. So I was astonished that he had these, and really happy to have them. Uh, like I said, I don't think you're gonna find them. I'm gonna run out of time here. I'm gonna start on some X Men. So I'm gonna go X Men number one. I mean uh, minus one. Again, it's a newsstand, $1.99. Um, I found these flashbacks, and I was really happy to have them. Now, this is X-Men 25. This is a newsstand. Then I got the last three issues, 26, 27, and 28. These are all $1.99. This is the last $1.99. Uh, the new stand direct markets were $1.95. $29 up, they're both $1.99. So these 26, 27, and 28 are all cover price variants. I had 27, but uh, I don't find them very much. So I'm, that's extra, and I found the other two. Now, this is the run of new stand X Men. Not cover price variants, but. 
Really happy to have them. There's 32, and I'm at 10 minutes. I'm going to run out of time. There's 33. There's 34. There's 35. Uh, 37. Uh, 38. 39. And 40. And continuing on, I'm almost done here. I'm at 10 minutes and 33 seconds. So I want to power through these. 41 newsstand, 42, 43, uh, 44, 45, 46. Great strife cover, 47, 48, and I'm getting close to running out of time. I got three more books, 49, 50, and 51, and that's it. So that's what I'm going to show you today. These are all new stand, uh, it's incredible runs. You know, usually I'm picking out one or two issues, and I... He had all these runs, and I mean, I still got to show you Cable, Silver Surfer. It's just incredible. And uh, like I said, I went out there and I uh, bought about 250 books. They were all newsstand. Uh, really happy to get them. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I don't find them very often. And to find this many at one time is incredible. So that's my haul. I'll be coming that you maybe this weekend. I'll do the Cable and the Silver Surfer and uh, hell, I got Wolverine, X-Men, Uncanny X-Men. So I got a lot of different books to show you and I just thought I'd make a book video. Now I got to start putting them all away. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Good, happy hunting and uh, fun to do a video again. You have a good day.